Ralph Charles with the chance of a lifetime. But tonight meeting a man in a class above anyone he's met before. Jose Napoles, the world champion. One of the greatest champions of recent years. The man that Sugar Ray Robinson describes as the greatest fighter pound for pound in the world today. Napoles approaching 32. So in this fight, we shall see Ralph Charles pitting his big punch against the advancing years of the world champion. And he was the man suspected to be having trouble getting the weight off. He'd been training in a very heavy rubber sweatsuit all last week. Tension in this empire called Wembley, absolutely electric. It's the first time a British boxer has fought for this title since Brian Curvis tried to beat Emil Griffith here in 1964. This is a world title we haven't won since the days of Ted Kid Lewis more than 50 years ago. And you get the feeling in this first round, each waiting for the other to show something. Who's going to make the first mistake? And a very, very quiet opening round. Nothing given away on either side. Well, you get the feeling that you're sitting on a time bomb here at Wembley because we're not going to see too many rounds as quiet as that. Naples of Mexico, coming up to 32 years old. Champion with one break since 1969, a professional boxer now for 13 and a half years, veteran of 71 fights. So all the sensations and all the big punching to come. There's a lot of respect on either side here. Charles getting in and out with the left leads before Naples has time to counter. One right hand caught Charles. And the great follow up, of course, the combination punching of Naples. He's a man who likes to put punches together. Charles looked just a little bit frail there when he was under pressure. One round the back to the kidneys. Jim Brimmel, the referee, is going to caution the world champion about that. Very much uh, contributed to, I would have thought, by the fact Charles was turning away very rapidly from it. Naples has already showed he can get to the British champion. Three good punches underneath to Charles' body. No reply. And Charles is really having to scuttle around this ring here to stay out of danger. And he made the champion blink, but Naples took it and came on. And that could be very significant. And it's clearly the world champion's round. Well, there were one or two very perilous moments in that second round for Charles when the first big attack was set up by Naples. Charles was content first to 
try and find him with probing left hands and was finding him until Napolis decided to come forward and put them together. And when he did, he made the defences of uh, Charles look a little frail. So all the danger signs now flying, and they're flying as a warning to Ralph Charles, the British and Commonwealth champion, who now knows a little of the class of the man he's up against. Naples absolutely regards the left lead of Charles with contempt, comes right on through it. Several days' growth of beard on the world champion's jaw. And that beard is the target for the right hand of Charles. There's no doubt about who's the hunted man here, and it isn't Naples. There's the right from Charles, and the man took it and walked on again, just as he did in the second. scar tissue above the left eye of Naples. This is the eye that beat him against Billy Backus. He does put punches together well. Charles finding him with the left again. Naples coming forward again in this round almost the whole way through. Well, when you look at this man, Naples, you really are looking at one of the great modern champions, Jose Naples. Significant that twice in this fight, once in the second and again in this last round, Charles has tried the right hand. Here's an example of it in the third round. There's the right. Quite a good looking punch. But Naples rode it and virtually ignored it and came on and one feels that that must be significant <laughs> Naples was born in a Cuban slum in Santiago here comes the attack again, putting Charles under pressure. And Charles has been under a lot of pressure already in this world title fight. Now one feels that Natalis hasn't even warmed up. But there's always that nagging doubt that the man is coming up to 32 and might even be older, according to some experts. And if he does run out of gas, then it'll become very interesting indeed. Charles's gum shield has come out of his mouth. And Charles is very much concerned with defense. His hands full here, keeping out of trouble, and only allowed the odd shot. Napoli's mouth set in a firm line under that mustache intent on the job and always coming after him and what is interesting is that the fight is quite different to the sort of fight everyone anticipated we expected to see Charles come winging in early on, looking for the big punch and the knockout. Instead, he's boxing a, a very cagey and a very canny fight here. Maybe because he has to, but nonetheless, he's going back on the retreat and trying to counter, and he's keeping out of trouble. That's a slip. Moving away from the right to the body. No count, no knockdown. And Charles gets a very big round of applause there for some quite cunning boxing 
in that fourth round when he was under a lot of pressure and he kept his wits about him, moving around this ring easily and well and getting in the odd counter punch, but still hasn't managed to make a really big punch tell on the brilliant world champion.